G'day, we're gonna have a look at this Acer Aspire Vero. It's a 16 inch business class laptop and this is Acer's lineup for trying to head towards being more eco-friendly. What I mean by eco-friendly is the actual materials used to construct this Vero. And what Acer has done is use around about 30% PCR. What is PCR? PCR is post-consumer recycle. So basically trying to use landfill recycles to actually construct this computer. It also uses around about 50% PCRs for the keycaps. Now, it's not quite a lot, but at least we're heading towards a more, trying to be more sustainable. So we're gonna go through the features of this computer and I will, as always, we'll be putting timestamps along with this video so you can skip to the different sections that you may be interested to save you time. Now the Acer Vero is 11th gen Intel Core processor that's in here and with the display wise it is a full HD with a rating of 250 nits of brightness. It is the IPS display and I find that the display has a nice matte finish to it which I like because it has less glare when you're outdoors which I did test out it was actually okay but because there's only 250 nits of brightness it's a little bit on the shake hand when you're in direct sunlight. But in the shade, it is absolute fine to even read text or even consume multimedia. Measuring the color gamut coverage of the full HD display, which has a rating of 250 nits of brightness, it actually resulted with 280 nits of brightness or luminance when I measured it up. The color gamut coverage resulted with 57.3% sRGB coverage, 39.7% Adobe RGB coverage and 40.8% DCI-P3 coverage. This is a pretty average rating along with other business laptops. Maybe a little bit below average, but it's something that Acer could improve on for the color gamut coverage. Now, this is more ideal for uh, office productivity work display. And if you're working multiple images, then this is probably isn't the ideal display to be working with. As for the backlight, I did not find there was too much light leak around the edges. And as for the bezel, we haven't got much bezel on the top or even on the side. So they have done a quite nice job here. Now this is a 16 by nine aspect ratio display and being a business laptop here, of course it's about 60 Hertz. Now it does have a 720p webcam located above the display. This is a recording from the 720p webcam from the Acer Vero. This is the video in audio unedited so you can hear and see what the quality of the webcam is like. And as always, I've got two titles currently turned on. I've got my downlights in this room for ambience and I've also got my one studio light turned on as well. Now I'm gonna turn off my one studio light off and you'll start to see this adjust. Now I don't have that much light bouncing on my face as the two downlights in front of me is quite a bit of far away and got one actually kind of blocked off. So this is what I consider a dark environment. Now if you're not in an office environment, you should have a lot more light than what I'm currently at. And I'm gonna turn my one shoe light back on and hopefully you get better quality of picture if you have better quality of light. Now I've also got currently using the Acer noise suppression on or noise reduction on. It's currently in the personal cause, which is hopefully helping it out. I'm in, got, it's school holidays and I've got my kid now watching its cartoons at the moment and it's in the background now. I've also got some computers testing, so it's also quite loud in terms of fan noise as well. Now I'm gonna turn off the noise reduction and hopefully you'll hear the difference here. So now I've got the noise reduction turned off and it is just the purely the microphone. Hopefully you hear the difference in there. And hopefully maybe you can hear the, uh, the cartoons going off in the background. So this is something you probably don't want in a video conference call. And I'm going to turn the noise reduction back on. At the moment, it is set to 100% uh, for the AI noise reduction. Definitely love to hear what your comments on the quality of this webcam, the voice as well, and also the noise reduction. What do you think about it? Put a comment below. There are two speakers located on the bottom on either side of the laptop. Now, when I tested out the maximum volume of the speakers, it managed to measure in a peak of 82.7 decibels, which is decent loud, and you should be okay if you're in a noise environment in a cafe, as you do presentation, that should be still okay enough. Now, as for the sound quality of the speakers, it's actually quite a bit of a surprise for me. There is a little bit of bass, 
It's not got like a lot of depth in the bass, but at least it does attempt at some of the low end bass, but it doesn't have that nice oomphing bass that you'll get. Now, as for the mids and highs, they're actually quite strong and they're actually quite balanced at the mids and highs. I didn't find it distort much when this is put at maximum volume. Now, as for the acoustic wise, it is about 360 degrees and the reverb is quite nice, which I actually like. So surprisingly, these have actually decent speakers for a business laptop. The Acer Vera does come with a 53 watt hour battery and I tested the battery life in Windows 11. And I tested my five different modes. So in best performance, it managed to get two hours and 20 minutes. And in balance, it got the same, which is two hours and 20 minutes. And in best power efficiency, it managed to get four hours and 30 minutes. And in battery saving mode, it managed to get six hours and 13 minutes. And in my media mode, it managed to get seven hours and 15 minutes. So as a business laptop, this did a pretty decent job in battery life. Now I do want to make a disclaimer that all my battery life tests do put a consistent workload across all the system resources. Now, you should actually get better battery life than what I would get, as most applications won't hit the resources as consistently or as hard as I would in my battery life test. I'm just giving you the worst case scenario. The weight of the 16 inch Acer Vero is 1.83 kilos, plus the 65 watt power adapter becomes a combined weight of 2.11 kilos that you might be carrying around with you. As for the temperatures and fan noise, when I performed my measurements, my ambient temperature was 22 degrees Celsius and my ambient room noise was 36 decibels. Now, before I give you the numbers, as always, your average hand is anywhere between 33 to 34 degrees Celsius. So that gives you a better reference point to either how hot or how cool this laptop could be. So I took my base measurement when the computer was on idle and the hottest area on the keyboard measured in at 28 degrees Celsius. As for the fan noise, it stayed at 36 decibels, which is practically quiet. And the average internal core temperature was 35 degrees Celsius. And then I put 20% low, which is average use. So tasks like office productivity work, surfing web, streaming videos, and the hottest air on the keyboard measured in at 30 degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise, hit a maximum of 38 decibels. So I do hear the fan a little bit. And as for the average internal core temperature was 34 degrees Celsius. Then I put 50% load on the computer and the hottest air on the keyboard measured in at 30 degrees Celsius still. And as for the fan noise, it stayed also at 38 decibels but the average internal core temperature did rise up to 40 degrees Celsius. Then I put 100% load on the computer and the hottest air on the keyboard measured in at 34 degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise, it hit a maximum of 46. And as for the fan noise, it hit a maximum of 46 decibels. And as for the average internal core temperature was 73 degrees Celsius. I also measured the bottom back cover of the computer and the hottest air on the bottom back cover was 53 degrees Celsius. And of course the fan noise stayed at 46 decibels. Seeing the results of the measurement, the Acer Vero runs very well what I would call cool in temperature. It's actually quite easy to touch the keyboard and areas around, which is absolutely fantastic. Now I still probably wouldn't advise you to still put this on your lap, but it's still not too bad in some areas, but still, I still don't really advise any laptop to be put on your lap as there is still heat coming from the bottom end. Let's have a look at the stability performance of the processor in the Vero. This particular unit is configured with an i5-1155G7 and looking on the Intel website, it reports it has a maximum turbo boost of 4.5 GHz. It has a base clock speed of 2.5 GHz at 28 Watt TDP and it can go all the way down to 1 GHz if at 12 watt TDP if it's feeling hot or it's trying to save power. But ideally we want to see the processor at 2.5 gigahertz or above. Now I've got this computer connected to main power and set it to best performance in the performance mode. And I've got the computer running on 100% load for the last five and a half hours. So that's the processor, RAM and hard drive on probably a lot of load, probably at max. And I can see from the processor speed, it is ranging anywhere between 3.9 to about 
4.1 gigahertz. So I was, I was average that out at 4 gigahertz. That is pretty high up, which is great to see. It's above the 2.5 gigahertz base clock speed. So that's way above there. It's actually getting closer to its maximum turbo boost. So the thermal solution on the Vero is doing extremely well. And the processor is able to handle this high clock speed as well. And we can see from the internal core temperatures, I would say it will be averaging around about 68 to about 70 degrees Celsius. So it's still got a lot of headroom to go up even more but overall i'm actually very happy on how the speed of the process runs and now we'll have a look at the processor behavior for single core and we will start a single core task in cinebench r23 start the clock watch as well and we'll have a look at the processor speed here so we've gone to about 4.25 gigahertz just quickly nearly touch about 4.3 gigahertz but it's staying there about 4.5 one gigahertz now and we've gone back up to about 4.2 gigahertz so ranging anywhere between 4.1 to about 4.2 gigahertz for the first 30 seconds i think it's now just sort of stayed stable about 4.2 to 4.3 gigahertz now after 30 seconds it was just about nearly finished this single tour task I and mean, i can see that the speed of the processor is anyway between 4.2 to about 4.3 gigahertz it's pretty much stable this 4.2 gigahertz i would say for the single core task for the whole entire time having a look at the keyboard we've got a full size keyboard and it's got the number pad on the right now the number pad is what i would call about two thirds the normal size of each keys but it's still good to see that ace at least left the number pad on a business computer as Still, there is a lot of data entry and also a lot of the professional applications do require data numbers, which is good to see their leaves leaf in there, which is very similar to the Acer TravelMate P4, which I did a review on. And with the key travel, we've got quite a nice good amount of key travel and quite a nice tactile feel to each keys. There is a bit of a soft bounce at the end of each key and for the surface of each key is quite smooth and we've got nice medium spacing in between each keys and also the size of each keys I would call a medium size but overall I can't have much complaints about the keys on this keyboard I actually quite like this keyboard here that works very well have a look at the trackpad we've got a nice decent large size packer not overly large there are a point where I get annoyed and having to worry about palm rejection this is a mechanical trackpad so it's hinged at the top and you can depress it at the very bottom and also we have a very nice smooth surface sort of glass silky feels to the trackpad there is also a fingerprint reader on the top left hand corner as well now as for the palm rest we've got that texture that we have throughout the whole entire barrel it's got a little bit of roughness to it. It's not like a crazy roughness. It's just a little bit of friction, but it's a very good friction to the thing. And like I said, with the trackpad, it's large, but not overly large. We have to worry about the transfer palm rejection. It's still a very decent size track, and I'm quite happy with the track. I think it's actually one of the nicest trackpad size for a 16 inch laptop. Now, as we talked about the build construction of the Acer barrel, we have this new what we call recycled plastic. And really, as I said in my unboxing video, if you want to have watched that unboxing video, I'll put a link it up there so you can actually follow the link in the description below uh, on what I feel the texture is. Actually, overall, having played with it, it is very, very durable plastic here overall. And I find we don't, again, you don't have to worry about finger marks as this does not grab finger marks at all now what i say i did say it was a little bit rough but what i mean by rough it's a good roughness it's not those roughness it actually just has a little bit of a texture and thing what i do like is actually the color of this and also that little what i've done is kind of like a recycled paper that you used to make as hell when i was in school that's got that kind of little texture built into it not really texture i'm talking about the the look of it as well too. I found it really nice. It's just really inspiring as well to just have a little feel. And you actually feel good for it, truthfully. You do feel good about it. But overall, I think it's nice rather than the plain, very boring black and really dark gray that you usually get. So I think this is a really nice look and feel to it. I actually find it actually quite professional as well too. And it has a good feel to it. Now as for, you see, it's not really that 
bendable, twistable as well too. Uh, it has quite a good uh, mount thing. Uh, there is just a little flex, but this is a 16 inch, but it's not that crazy amount of flex, but it has, can take a lot of punishment uh, for that. And also with the hinge wise, we just do the again, one finger test. If you haven't seen that one finger test in my unboxing video, I'll just do it again. So it does grab a little bit. So it does grab quite a bit uh, on the one finger test. And it goes up to what I would call around about 140 degrees for the hinge. Now the hinge wise, as we can know, there is, unfortunately, it doesn't grab a, quite a lot uh, on it. So you can see it does, lower. so this is something that Asa probably can work on of the hinge for this. Now the hinge is what I'll call that plastic again on him for the whole thing, but overall still, it's still a very good made build construction for overall, but they probably could do a little bit more work on the hinge. Let's have a look at the internals of the Acer Vero. First off, we need to unscrew the 11 Phillip head screws. Good to see they used Phillip head screws because that's easy to find. And after that, we'll just pry it open as always. There's a little top tip is to start from the hinge and work your way to the center and then from the hinge to the sides. And then you can work on the other side of the hinge and then to the center and then work along there and then prior. Now I've actually pre-undone this to speed up time to make things easier. The first we can see, firstly see is the 53 watt hour battery. It's a free cell battery and the connector for the battery is right here. So you can disconnect the battery if you've got some troubleshooting some power issues or you're just working on the computer doing some upgrades. Good idea to do that. And right next to that is over here, this little plug is the CMOS battery. So you need to reset the clock or work with the battery. That's the one there. And right next to that is the M.2 SSD slot. And it is, as you can see, is a 2280 format one. And then above that is a sodium slot for RAM upgrades. Now there is RAM on the other side and that's very pre-configured by the master ASA, which is good. And then we have the processor, you can see the twin heat pipes to twin fans on them. Now below the fans is the Wi-Fi Bluetooth module right here. And then that's pretty much all really all there is. Here is the result of the benchmarks for the Vero. This one is configured with an i5 1155G7 with eight gigs of RAM and 250 gig SSD. And here is the scores for Passmark, Citibench R23, PCMark, 3D Mark, Geekbench 5, Crystal Disk Mark, Procon Office, Procon Photo Editing, Procon Video Editing, Pugin Photoshop, Pugin Premiere Pro, Blender, Luxmark, Compute Bench, Furmark, Eugene Engine, and Spec View Pref. I think Acer done a very decent job on the Acer Vero. I am not too crazy much about complaints about the Acer Vero, as I think Acer done a very well decent job on all the components. And it's kind of like a well-cooked decent meal, where nothing really is spectacular out of it, but everything of each component always done extremely well, then overall it comes in as a very good package. And I think that's what the Acer Vero is is it's a very good overall package now i still would like to see a 1080p webcam have that and also i think acer should still work on the display with just a little bit more brightness as well as a little bit better color reproduction but overall what the acer sparrow is about and i think this is the really the main key point is that they're trying to be more eco-friendly and what that really means is is using new recycle products and it is actually about developing the manufacturing process to hopefully just like SpaceX is doing is trying to even trying to achieve of living to the in Mars but really the idea is to develop technologies for that and then you bring it down to other things here on earth but in, in this case here to develop all that process of using recycled materials and then hopefully that will be filtered through to the other lines of the products of Acer. And I think that's where the really main key point is the research and the manufacturing process that this is aiming to achieve to actually get. And I think Acer is doing a very good job and also making a big point that they're actually trying to do that as well. So I have to give a big, big tops for Acer for this Acer Vero 
inspired of trying to be more eco-friendly for the future and for the next generation. So I think they've done a very good job. Thank you very much, Asa. Now, I hope you find this video informative or enjoyed it. If you did, even to support my channel, smash that like button for me. It does help me out. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, but hit that subscribe button on the screen. I truly up upload a new video every week. And if you want to support me even further, I do have membership as well by clicking that join button right next to the subscribe button. And as always, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. And I'll catch you in the next video.